Why are you so tense, god damn it? Because I don't know what I'm doing! Calm down. And so we start with a season recap of 2011. And isn't it sad? Isn't it sad when you really think about it? Isn't it sad? I spent most of my 2011 season for Buffalo Bills reminiscing on YouTube going through past highlights, past triumphs in this era. And this is a book that I read this season. Marv Levy. Is there anywhere else you'd rather be? Well, Marv, well, Bill fan, yeah, the playoffs. Yeah, but that hasn't happened for over 12 years now, or for 12 years, whatever. And for the seventh straight year, we're losers. And even though in our history, the great K-Gun, Jim Kelly, and Bruce Smith, Cornelius Bennett, Steve Dasker, made it to four straight Super Bowls and lost, they were not losers. But one may ask... Who are the Bills? Who are they? Is there even anything to identify us? The slew of losing QBs, with the exception of Doug Flutie, and coaches that we've been through in the past 12 years. Who are we? I guess I could say nobody. Where do I even begin? Where do I even begin and where do we go? Um, if you ask Ralph Wilson, he says, be patient. And he has faith in Fitzpatrick's. A dude that we paid $60 million to. Gave him a huge contract. What was it for? Like six years? I don't know. Is it even that important anymore? We started out... Five and two, and then we give Fitzy this big contract. And then what does he do? He goes one and eight. He goes one and eight. Now, I know what all of you are going to say, but we had a lot of injuries. We had a lot of injuries. We lost that center, that Eric Good guy, right? That Wood guy. I don't care. I don't care. And I don't care about being patient. Because... Patience is over, man. It's over. How long are you going to be patient for? We have been the laughing stock of the NFL for a decade plus now. There is no more being patient. Is there? Is there? Is it not right for me to want to demand more out of my team? Or have we become the Pittsburgh Pirates of the NFL? And God help us if we have... Because there's a team that hasn't made the postseason 20 plus years. And I don't think that's crazy for me to think that could happen to us. I mean, really. What do we have to look forward to? Playing in Toronto? Something that hasn't helped us win as a team. Yeah, it's helped us financially and we probably do need it. Let's face it, we do need it. But what do we have to look forward to? Hmm? Overpriced Canadian tickets? I ask you, where do we go from here? Freddie Jackson broke his leg. He's 31, or he'll be 31 once the 12 season starts. Yeah, he says it's okay, and they all... You know, all the pundits say it's okay. Well, in 09, we signed him to a, what? What a, what, what a four-year contract extension? Oh, God, let me put this up here. I can't, I can't, I can't even hide. I gotta have a beer. Do we sign back Stevie Johnson, who's plagued by selfishness, getting penalties? And really, I would resign him because he's the only guy who's, I think, ever had two back-to-back thousand-yard seasons in Buffalo's history. So, I mean, you have to sign him back. 
You know, I mean, you can whip him into shape. And even Fitzpatrick is pushing for him, you know, as he should be. Because who else do you got? Who else do you got? Who else do you got? Weinstadt's been promoted to defensive coordinator. How good's that going to go? How good's that going to go? Ask yourself, how good's that going to go? 3-4, 4-3, 3-4, 4-3. What are we? What are we? I'll tell you what we are. I can't even get a goddamn hat. I can't even get a goddamn hat on the website in white to represent the helmet that we now wear. I gotta wear this piece of shit, which I hate. It's ugly. It doesn't bend right. I can't even get a good hat on the buffalobills.com website, which is white, you know, nice, pristine white, fits well, can bend good, can acclimate to my head. I can't even get that. So if I can't even get a goddamn hat that I can wear out in public, because I wouldn't wear this out in public because it's shit, where are we as a franchise? Where? Where are we? Seriously, man. I mean, seriously. Seriously. Is it wrong for me to say that I've started to watch other teams? Yeah, I have. I'm rooting for the Saints. I hope they go all the way. There's a team that's overcome so much more adversity than anybody's ever thought of. I mean, come on, for Christ's sakes. And Katrina? And we here out in western New York? You know, uh, albeit way out in western New York, the, the edge. We can't do anything? I mean, really, dude? I'm sick of it, man. I'm sick of it. And if all you want to be delusional and say to me, well, you're not a real fan, man, if you watch other teams, you know, screw you. Demand more. Demand more, man. Because I don't see things changing. I hope they do. Every year I kind of hope they do. But ultimately, after the 5-2 and two tear, and then they went into that third loss... I started to be like, well, that's the Bills. That's the Bills of late. That's the Bills of the past decade and two. Oh, man. I, 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 I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. And uh, I don't know. What do you think, man? We've had a great history four Super Bowls we got into in a row. Greatest comeback in NFL history in the playoffs against the great Warren Moon. Kagan, Tasker, beat up on Marino. Beat Joe Montana in the AFC Championship. I know my history, man. At least as far back as I go. I know my history, dude. I do. I know it. And it sickens me. It sickens me every year, every goddamn year. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, Ralph. I'm done being patient. You're like fucking Joe Paterno up in here. I'm tired. I'm tired of looking at you. I'm tired of... I want something new. <sighs> something new but stable. Something that's going to... Bring us out of the woods, man. All right, I can't take it anymore. You tell me what you think, all right? You tell me what you think. I'm not fair weather, pal. I'm not fair weather. <laughs>